Well, Dubai World did avoid default on a $4 billion bond payment due today as Abu Dhabi stepped in with $10 billion of bailout funds. So now the question is, is the worst behind us for the Emirate? Let's get reaction from Sultan al Qasimi. He's fellow at the Dubai School of Government. He joins us now live from Dubai. Uh, good evening to you, sir. There has been a lot of speculation, a lot of noise from uh, international investors today heralding this bailout as potentially a sign that the worst is over. Do you agree? Well, I suppose it's uh, it's too early to say that the worst is over, but I can say that there are many, many better days ahead. <laughs> many better days ahead. Well, certainly a different business climate uh, in the UAE, regardless uh, of the outcome. We also heard today that new bankruptcy laws are going to be unveiled, a sign, some say, of increased transparency in the region. Uh, is this going to be enough? I think this is a great first step forward. What we lacked before was uh, transparency and clarity, and I think that this is uh, one of the uh, uh, conditions that the, the Emirates feels that uh, it can use to its advantage. Uh, these, this new framework that's being introduced can potentially be applied to other cases. It's a great test case. As you know, this will all be taking place in the Dubai International Financial Center in the English language. It's going to be transparent, hopefully. And I think that this will provide an example about uh, how transparent the Emirate is. And if any other cases do arise, uh, God forbid, then at least we will know we would have a precedent. Well, certainly uh, that idea of setting a precedent is one of the things that heightened the uh, attention being paid to just what was happening with Dubai World. There are concerns that Dubai World isn't the only uh, government-related entity with uh, heavy debt loads right now. There are also concerns about Dubai holding some other names being floated. Is this today a sign that we will not see a domino effect or will we have to see further bailouts of other government related entities? Well, as you know, in the Gulf region, many, many companies do have some kind of government investment uh, or relation. Um, I mean, most of the listed companies in the stock market either have a 10 percent, a 5 percent, or even up to 75 percent government shareholding. So when you say GREs or government-related entities, you're more or less speaking about an entire spectrum of most of the companies that are recognized in the, in the Gulf. So, uh, you know, you can't get out of it and say, well, this is going to be the only company that needs help. We are still in the midst or trying to come out of this global financial crisis. And I do expect that there would be some more news coming from the Gulf, whether it's from the UAE or any other country. Sure. But with specific reference to Dubai Holdings, what are you hearing from some of the investors, some of the policymakers, some of the people on the ground that you're speaking with right now? Well, with reference to Dubai Holding, uh, last week we heard the news that the Dubai Holding property entities would no longer be merging with EMR. Right. So uh, these, these, uh, as you know, the real estate sector in the UAE suffered, along with many other sectors around the world, but specifically the real estate sector, I suppose. And these, these three firms, Dubai Properties, Sama Dubai and Tatweer, still need to uh, be, you know, uh, guided out of the woods. Uh, and if they're not going to be, uh, you know, merging with EMR, then I suppose there would be another uh, kind of uh, package to get them out of uh, the situation they are in right now. Another kind of package, that package coming from Abu Dhabi once again? Well, I'd like to say one thing about what's being said about the conditions that Abu Dhabi is, uh, is attaching to all this bailout or assistance. Sure. Abu Dhabi has been supporting the, the other six emirates of the UAE for the past four decades. Uh, just last year, the budget that was really the vast majority of our budget is paid, paid by Abu Dhabi Emirates uh, was increased by 3.5% to $12 billion. So uh, it was $11.5 billion in 2009. 2010 is about $12.5, $13 billion. Uh, Abu Dhabi has been probably the most generous city or emirate that I have known ever in, in, in my research. And just mm -hmm. this year, they've supported, you know, Dubai with, what, $25 billion. And if they wanted to, uh, you know, attach conditions right. to, to any sort of assistance, they could have done that three or four decades ago and, and not today.